Eucalyptus alligatrix, subspecies alligatrix. It's a subspecies that occurs here on Coomba and it's the only, um, only occurrence of this in New South Wales. So for that it's really unique and it's actually really confined to just you know, like 10 hectares. It's the only stand in New South Wales so it's worth protecting just for that. Uh, we don't know whether it was a, a greater um, a distribution and then it's retracted to this point or it started this point and has just been here for millennia so we don't know really enough about it so it's important that we know a little bit more about it so as part of this project um, there's detailed monitoring happening where they're coming out and, and they've, they've mapped um, where it is, uh, its age, its uh, diameter breast height, you know everything that we can um, uh, record about it we've recorded so that's really important. Office of Environment and Water um, you know, have identified it and so I guess it was flagged with them that we need to do some work. Um, you know, we, we approached Steve um, a couple of years ago and said do you want to do some, do some work um, to protect it, to protect the site and so yeah so that's where it came from there. You know, in a way it's a bit of a win-win you know we get to study the species we know what's happening with it but he also gets to manage his um, area a little bit better so we've helped financially with the fencing and a water trough and some rabbit control and things like that that'll help the species but it'll also help Steve. Well it's always been here we've, we've always noticed it here and never thought it was anything different and in the early 90s, 92, I think we did a tree line project here and Mike Pridmore, he came and did all the trees for us. He propagated the trees and uh, came out and just liked these trees as well and wanted to see if he could grow them. So he came and got some seeds and propagated them and then uh, couldn't identify them. So that's how they found the new species. The trees uh, excluded from stock just a little, two little areas up there where we can see what the tree does without any impact, just to just sit there on its own and see what happens. This paddock we're standing in, which is probably 10 acres, um, yeah, it'll have stopped maybe periodically, but it'll be just grazed gently and, uh, and, and just you know, next to the project, won't be, won't be run too hard. It's nice to have something unique, and, and that, that's why I was keen to fence it off, is to, to keep it that way, you know, so that it, it doesn't disappear. It, everybody calls it the Coomba tree. It doesn't get called the Alligatrix, it, get, it gets called the Coomba tree. That's what everyone calls it, so it's, it's nice to have that. Here.